We are also now getting reports that Italian farmers are rising up to protest in Rome. Quote, they are saying, we are not slaves, we are farmers. We cannot make ends meet. But it's not just Italian farmers. Polish farmers are now protesting. So too are Spanish farmers, as too are disgruntled German farmers. This is taking place everywhere and you can slate it all home to insane globalist climate change policies. Alrighty, people, are you ready? It's going down for real. The Great Uprising versus The Great Reset. Now nah, I'm just fucking around with you guys. But anyway, this is a, a bit of, um, you know, my take on what's going on all over the world. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in and checking me out and stuff like that. I appreciate the, you know, the likes, comments, subscribes. Don't forget to do all that stuff. See? See? Oh, actually, it's over here. See? It's telling you to do it. All right? So definitely make sure you guys do that. But before we get into all the chaos going on all over the globe, let's smoke some damn weed and get into this, people. Ooh, that's some tasty stuff. Well, let me run it down to you, communist, homosexual, faggot, dipshit, motherfucker. Fuck you, that's why. Cause fuck you, that's why. Cause helmets suck, that's why. And copies like you swallow, that's why. Fuck Pete Wilson, that's why. Fuck Dick Boy, that's why. Okay, here we go. So we've got we've got we'll pay your energy bills. We've got a thousand pounds as well. So this is energy bills. I think for four months if it stops on that. Nice. Uh, so how are your how how are your energy bills? Are you a bit worried about it all? Oh, um, major. Yeah. Are you? I've got I've got one of these prepayment meters and it's absolutely murder. Oh God. Right. Well, let's hope it lands on one of those then. Whatever right. you're going to win some money. So here we don't go. worry. Here yeah, we go. One way one way or t'other. Here we go. Round and round it goes, where it stops, nobody knows. Da, 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 da. Oh, thousand pounds or energy down. bill, thousand pounds or energy bill. It is going to be. Oh! It's your energy bill! Oh my god, thank we're, you. We're paying your energy bill for four months. Oh, fantastic. No worries. Oh. oh, what a relief. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, listen, well done, you. That okay, so what in the heck was that all about, right? So that was in the UK. And what happened there was basically it was a, a morning show. And the the, the caller, uh, you know, as you can see, there's prizes on there. There's, uh, you know, 1,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds, or uh, um, your energy bill paid for four months. And isn't it ridiculous, man? That's the, the type of tyranny that they're under over there. So we have some more clips for you. I'm just going to show you in just a minute. And it's uh, basically what is going on in in the UK right now with their protests, right? So basically there's just like everywhere else in the world, we're seeing, you know, protests all over the place. And it's a lot to do with, uh, you know, the, the great reset, you know, these Russia sanctions, all this, um, you know, bullshit going on. And um, so let's let's see why the the people in in the uk are starting to protest We cannot keep calm any longer. No. You need to get angry. People are scared. They don't know what's going to happen after October 1st. We're just asking for them to stop the direct debit on the 1st of October so we can have, an, so it will make an impact on the energy companies because the price hikes are astronomical and they're due to go back up, in, they're still to go up to six and a half thousand pounds per year in January. People are going to have to choose between eating and keeping themselves warm and there's going to be deaths there's going to be deaths from the vulnerable disabled sick people young children the elderly 
and Ofgem are not doing anything to tackle the hikes. We're in this absolute crisis of the entire capitalist system right now. It's not just this issue, it's inflation. 10% right now. I think the short term solution is a tax on the profits of the fuel companies. You know, they, they have to absorb the cost. Otherwise, who is being asked to absorb the, the, absorb the price rises? The people who are being asked to absorb the price rises are the people at the bottom. So it's got to be the shareholders, the people at the top of these oil companies. So that was pretty, pretty interesting, right? A little bit uh, lefty wingy for us. Um, you know, of course, they should be really protesting their their governments and stuff like we're seeing everywhere else in the world. But ultimately, they're they're protesting the the greedy um, capitalist, um, uh, you know, energy companies and stuff, and basically saying that they shouldn't be taking a profit. Um, because they they should be trying to to stick it to Russia too. That's really what a lot of this these energy uh, you know conflicts are are about. A lot, especially the energy conflicts. Um, the, it's really just you know oh we got to stick it to Russia. You know we're even seeing it here in the United States. So oh, you know we have to to pay these you know ridiculous gas prices and stuff like that. And it's you know oh, we're we're sticking it to Russia people. We're we're sticking it to Russia. That's what we're doing. Like. Yeah, we're not doing a very good job of it, right? Because meanwhile, Russia is still doing their backdoor deals all over the world, right? And they're they're still they're thriving. The ruble is at its highest, pretty much ever right now, right? So really, who are these sanctions really hurting? Well, I believe these sanctions are actually part of the the great reset as well. I mean, what do we really have to do with Ukraine, right? I mean, I've I've gone on in this in many many videos before. If you want to go ahead and check some of those out, but ultimately. Yeah, Ukraine, we're cool with them, but we really don't, you know, owe them that much. We definitely don't owe them this many billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars of your dollars, taxpayer dollars, your dollars, my dollars, all of our freaking dollars just put together and just shipped off to Ukraine, printed out by the Fed, inflation out the roof. Um, and yeah, we're, we're starting to, to feel all, I mean, we, we have, we've been feeling it for a good minute now, but they just keep on printing and keep on printing and keep on printing. And they're passing these inflation reduction acts that are really just more, uh, you know, Green New Deal, uh, you know, World Economic Forum Davos freaking reduce your carbon emissions. You know, by 2030, you will own nothing and be happy. We must continue to fight against the global pandemic. You know. It's really those type of, you know, sanctions, really, if you want to consider it. It's the, the world elite. They're literally sanctioning and putting a squeeze on all these smaller nations and all over, you know, all over the world, right? So let's take a look at, at Sri Lanka, right? We've, we've covered Sri Lanka a little bit. Let's see how they've been doing since they overthrew their government, all right? Oh, 
right. That looks pretty rough, man. Um, yeah, they don't look like they're doing very good, man. They're, they're, they're starving to death. You know, they're getting, you know, shot with water cannons and stuff like that. It's still very, very chaotic, right? Well, you say you want a revolution. There you go. That's generally how it goes, right? Things get bad, then they get worse, and then hopefully they get better, right? That's generally the way that a revolution goes, right? Things are bad, so what do they do? They have a revolution, things get worse, they remain worse for quite a while, and over time, hopefully they get better. This handful of dried fish is the last bit of protein Nilante Gunasekera and her family have left at home in Sri Lanka. The 49-year-old is just one of the millions of people there whose living standards took a cliff dive in the past months. Um, yeah, we're, we're also seeing protests all over Europe with the Dutch farmers, right? I mean, we, we, that's been going on for a little while now. We uh, you know, covered them just a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, the Dutch farmers, check out some of these clips from their protests. In the Netherlands, Klaus Schwab's golden pinup boy, Prime Minister Mark Rutte, is busy fulfilling the agenda of the World Economic Forum's Great Reset by turfing farmers off their own land because bureaucrats deem there's too much nitrogen in the soil. Ooh, this is the Great Reset. If they're going to do everything that they want, if they want to go to the goal, they're going to reduce 50% of the farmers here in Holland. Sure. And that's not only that's only the farming, mm. but the truck drivers is going to come down, uh, industry is coming come down, mechanics is going to come down, everything is going down. Okay. Man, that's some some down home stuff, right? So let's see where where else is there a uh, you know uh, pro farmer protest, All right? And what these farmer protests are, it's from again the World Economic Forum in Davos, and they're trying to reduce the um, the nitrogen in the soil to reduce the carbon emissions because apparently nitrogen, which is what plants feed off of and have fed off of since plants, you know, um, that's literally what you know. Uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. That's what they eat. That's that's literally plant food, people. Um, yeah, so they're, they're trying to uh, reduce that. What it really is, is they are trying to reduce their nitrogen use so that way they can't grow their crops. Once they can't grow their crops, they can't make money. Once they can't make money, then they can't pay the land taxes or whatever taxes they have to pay to the government in order to be able to farm and keep their land. Well, then the government's going to come swoop in and take their land. You will own nothing and you will be happy. All right. That's what's going on. We're seeing it all over the world. We're even seeing it in Canada right now. Literally all these uprisings all over the world. From, you know, we got the Dutch farmers. We got Sri Lanka. We got Italy. We got Poland. We got Spanish. We got, you know, the, we got Spain. We got Germany all over the world right now over these, uh, you know, nitrogen regulations in the farming industry. And so what does old oh, so boy, soy boy Trudeau decide to do? Those look like some great ideas. I think I'm going to go ahead and do those. Yes, yes. Let's implement some of those, guys. Yes. Namaste. Jesus Christ, dude. So, it's getting pretty bad out there. We're seeing uprisings all over the all over the world and it's a lot to do against this uh great reset and these, you know, the Davos elite stakeholders, you know, the the people that that make change happen, the people that literally run run the world, the people that literally control the economy, that control everything about every single aspect of your life. Those dudes, you know, the the, the world economic forum fucking Davos crab and they are um we're starting to they're starting to see the the backlash, right? They are the small group. They are the, the small little elites, right? With their little fucking, you know, World Economic Forums and their meetings and shit like that. And their fucking orgies and their weird stuff that they do, you know, behind closed doors. And, you know, their, their uh, I don't know, <laughs> random stuff, you know. Right, yeah, like nothing shady ever happened in a fully furnished office. You ever hear about Wall Street, Morty? Y you know what those guys do in, a, in, the, in their fancy boardrooms? They take their balls and they dip them in cocaine and wipe them all over each other. You know, Grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because Grandpa isn't shady. Uh, but anyway, definitely check out Mark Dice. He does a lot of, uh, um, you know, good coverage on these um, different, uh, you know, orgies and weird kind of stuff that they have going on. The, the World Economic Forums and the, the social elites and stuff like that. You de definitely check his, his channel out. does some really good stuff there, man. But um, so we are also now just seeing over this past weekend 
another massive surge of protests where at in the Czech Republic. <laughs> And what's going on in the Czech Republic? So tens of thousands of protesters gathered in central Prague on Saturday for a march dubbed the Czech Republic First. Hmm. Sounds sounds kind of familiar. Czech Republic First. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Are are they like the MAGA crowd, but like in the Czech Republic? Huh. So urging the government to resign over soaring energy prices and inflation and to drop anti-Russia sanctions. All right. So in in a in the Czech Republic, they have the you know the left wing party, which is the Communist Party, and then they have the right wing party, which is the Freedom and Direct Democracy Party. And so again, they are protesting the the energy sanctions over Russia. They are uh, just like like we're, we saw in in the UK. They're being faced with well, do you want to feed yourself or do you want to heat your house? And uh, you know they even try. They're trying to do that in California. You have a Newsom telling telling you like, oh well, I know it's a heat wave out there, but you know we we need to get this this green agenda you know pushed through. And you know it's it's all about the megawatts, people, the megawatts, right? And so um, yeah, he's telling you you know oh don't don't turn on your air conditioners. You know set them a little bit higher this month, right? So yeah, all over the damn world, right? And so here in the United States of America. Land that I love, land that you love. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe I don't know. If you're watching this from another from another nation or another country, right? You know, let me know in the comments, man. That'd, that'd be pretty pretty cool to to hear, man. I, I, I just had someone from Canada comment on the last video. I mean, pretty pretty cool to see that you know, uh, my this mug right here is getting you know all over the all over the globe and becoming global famous. <laughs> But um, anyway, so in the United States, we just had Lauren Boebert. Uh, she just uh, uh, went off. And uh, here, here's the clip. Mr. Speaker, I yield one minute to the gentle lady from Colorado. Gentlewoman from Colorado is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting a different result. That makes the supporters of this legislation, by definition, insane. Reckless spending in this town is what causes inflation. And we cannot continue to increase taxes on the American people and put a target on American energy production while spending a historic $370 billion on Green New Deal initiatives and expect to lower inflation and improve our economy. Remember that so-called bipartisan infrastructure bill? Yeah, we spent $200 billion on Green New Deal initiatives. I guess that was just a down payment on this never-ending theft of American tax dollars. We are sacrificing, you are sacrificing American families at the altar of climate change. Mr. Speaker, isn't it so? Joe Biden himself said inflation rate is at zero percent. So what the heck are we doing here? Why are we passing this so-called Inflation Reduction Act if it's at zero percent? Well, in fact, it's the Inflation Enhancement Act. Gentlewoman's time has expired. And it does the exact opposite of what Americans need right now. This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one thing and saying time another. Has expired. This is making the IRS with armed agents time has larger expired. than the Pentagon, the State the woman, Department. Gentlewoman is no longer done. recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the bet. Mr. Speaker, on How much time do you need? the gentlewoman is no longer recognized. Her time has expired. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. I will yield an additional 30 seconds to the gentlelady from Colorado to finish General her woman, comments. The gentleman is recognized for an additional 30 seconds. This bill hires 87,000 new IRS agents and they are armed and the job description tells them that they need to be required to carry a firearm and expect to use deadly force if necessary. Excessive taxation is theft and the chairman said that we are using the power of the federal government in this bill. You're darn right you are. You're using the power of the federal government for armed robbery on the taxpayers. I can only see why that this was rushed through committee and put on the floor. Gentlewoman's time has expired. Somewhere Gentlewoman's time has expired. Bill. She is no longer recognized. The right. 
so yeah fucking 87,000 new tax fucking workers people I don't know I, I mentioned in one of the shows you know uh, like a week or so ago about you know like all those people that that did the the you know little frauds and this and that you know the covid relief frauds and stuff like that they're starting to get busted all over the damn place and um uh, you know i remember everyone was all like oh you know like they're never going to be able to you know arrest all of us you know they're they're not going to be able to go into all of our you know records and stuff like that well if they hire 87,000 new people they might be able to investigate all of you <laughs> so yeah and uh, that's how they're going to reduce inflation they're going to take your money they're going to take your money. They're going to pay people to take your money. And then they're going to take your money to pay those people to take your money. So that way they can take more of your money. So that way they can give it to the government. Because inflation as it is at an all-time high right now, people. So what do we need to do? We need to take away your money and give it to the government. We must revitalize the global economy and accelerate its transition to net zero. That's how we're going to uh, reduce inflation. And again, the Inflation Reduction Act has nothing to do with reducing inflation. All it does is it just creates more IRS workers and it's just a whole bunch of shit to do with the climate. All right. So, again, appeasing the fucking the the Klaus Schwab's and the fucking the Davos elite. And that's basically what's going on all over the world. So. It's even, like I say, it's even happening here in America. And we're seeing a hyperpolarization here in America. We saw, you know, uh, just just this last week in in um, in Philadelphia, Trump was holding a rally at the very same time that uh, Biden was given, you know, the soul of the, the, the soul of the nation or, you know, within the same week, same days, you know, something like that. The FBI and the Justice Department have become vicious monsters controlled by radical left scoundrels, lawyers and the media who tell them what to do, you people right there, and when to do it. Republicans in the MAGA movement are not the ones trying to undermine our democracy. We are the ones trying to save our democracy. Um, but yeah, in the same town, same city, all that stuff. In a, yeah, the, the Trump one had a, a much better turnout. And meanwhile, Biden is over here, you know, the great unifier, right? And he's talking about how his political opponents are enemies of the state and how they're they're terrorists they're domestic terrorists basically these people that that believe in making america great again they're terrorist people if you believe in putting america first you are a terrorist you are a right wing nazi and you need to be get gone right so again hats off to the you know all the people all over the world you know finally standing up to their governments and uh um, you know affecting change as we saw in sri lanka though you say you want a revolution man it's it's not it's really not that great it's going to be some rough times all over the world you know it's uh as klaus schwab says you know it, we are in a pivotal moment and uh yeah that was their pivotal moment this one's ours, right? Well, definitely you guys like, subscribe, share. Appreciate all you guys stopping by, hanging out, smoking with me. Um, yeah, man, crazy stuff all over the world, man. You guys definitely take care of each other. Look out for each other. Um, I don't know. I love you people here in America. Like, subscribe, fuck off. Don't forget to like and subscribe, bitch. Disgraceful.